In this video, I will show you how to properly use the Reach app. As you open it, you will see the Group screen. If you don't see it, tap Groups at the bottom of the screen. Here, you will add your first group. Click on the plus icon at the upper right corner where the arrow is pointing and type the group name in the pop-up message. Let's call it Friends. Now the Friends group opens and we can start adding contacts. We do that by tapping the plus button on the upper right corner where the arrow is pointing. Your contacts list will open and you are able to select the contacts by simply tapping on the ones you want to add. Then tap Add at the upper right corner. The Send Via option allows you to choose the app through which the message will be sent. Use this to cater to your contacts' convenience. Do they like to receive their messages by email or text? Then set it to default. Do they like to receive messages via Google Voice? Then set it there, and so on. If you set it to WhatsApp, then please make sure you read about the additional WhatsApp settings on our website, since it's still in beta mode. For this tutorial, though, we will use the default setting. Use the To Address option to select the default recipient address type. If we select phone, it will send them a text message. If we select email, it will send them the message as an email. When you are done, tap Done at the upper right corner. Our group is ready with contacts. Now we can always go back and modify details. For example, let's open the first contact. The swirly blue symbol is the name template in this message. It is automatically filled with a contact's first name. If you wish to address the person differently, you can change it here. For example, let's address Andy by his full name, Andrew. The two head symbol is your relationship with that person. We can fill this field with whatever we want. For example, buddy, bro, sis, sweetie, etc. Or even just leave it empty. I will put friend. To save changes, tap done at the upper right corner. Let's go to the second contact, Sophia, and also call her friend, and done. For the third contact, I will call him brother, and done. Now let's compose a message to the group. Click back and tap on the message icon at the bottom left corner of the screen. Then click the compose button at the upper right corner. Let's type the first message. I will start with hey, and I would like to address my group members personally by their names. So I'm going to use the name template icon. By using this icon, the message that gets to them will say, Hey Andrew, and Hey Sophia, and so on. Then I want to continue by asking, How are you doing today? And I would like to use the relationship icon too. This will be replaced by what we filled in in the relationship field. When the message reaches the recipient, it will say, Hey Andrew, how are you doing today, friend? And so on with the other recipients. By the way, if any of the contacts are going to be addressed by their email, then add a subject line at the top. But since all our recipients are being reached by their text, we don't need it for now. Click Done, and then tap on the Send icon to send. All the members in the group are selected. If you wish to exclude any from this message, just tap on the contact line, like this, and they will be deselected. Remember though to reselect them when you send the next message by tapping on them again. If you press and hold on the name, a pop-up at the bottom will come up, and you can choose to select all or deselect all. This will definitely help you with longer lists. Okay, let's tap at the send button again at the upper right corner and see what happens. The iMessage screen opens up. This interface is not part of Reach. It is the Messages app that was opened by Reach, with the text pre-written for the first recipient in the group. Notice the name template and relationship icons were replaced by the name and the relationship we defined for this contact. This will significantly increase your recipient engagement. And as a bonus, when the recipient replies, the message will appear in your Messages app, where you can continue on the conversation. To send, simply tap the Send button. Now automatically, the message to the next recipient in the group pops up the same way, and so on until all the messages are sent. At the end, you get a pop-up that says, All sent. Simply tap Done. That's it! Reach is a wonderful way to personalize your messages and still saves you a ton of time. It takes only 90 seconds to send 90 personalized messages to 90 people. If you like this app, find the download link in the description section below. And please leave us feedback on iTunes and share it with your friends.